Hello and welcome to another Skyrim VR video. In this one I'm going to show you three little mods that add a lot of immersion to the game world in Skyrim VR. So these mods um, introduce wind for example and make the trees and the grass uh, blow in the wind. And they also add footprints um, to the environment, so to characters and to animals and all that. So you can actually see even your own footprints when you walk around in the snow for example. And there's also a mod that uh, changes like how the lanterns work and how the signs are blowing in the wind as well. So just some small minor mods and tweaks that um, add a lot of immersion to the game and don't really take that much performance or any at all, at least in my experience. And yeah, so just stay tuned after the showcase, I will show you how you can install them as usual. Endlich haben diese verdammten Albträume aufgehört. Ihr wisst nicht zufällig, wie das passiert ist, oder? Alright, now to the mods that you need to get the game to look like in the showcase. The first one is Skyrim is Windy, which makes the trees and the grass uh, appear to have um, to be affected by wind, so they shake around and um, just you see the wind in the in the trees. So it's a pretty simple mod, and um, this is the first one you need to install. And if you also followed my last guide, or if you um, use my tree mod or the tree configuration, you should also get the compatibility patch for simply bigger trees if you're using the bigger trees mod that I showed you in the last video. You just install that and load after um, the main mod and after simply bigger trees of course. So um, yeah, you just install that with your, with your normal mod manager. I always use Vortex and it works a treat so if you uh, also want to install it I recommend Vortex but you can use whatever you want of course. Then you also need the second mod, Blowing in the Wind. Uh, this one does a similar thing, but um, it changes the lanterns and the signposts. So um, in the cities, for example, the signposts in front of stores and stuff, it changes that and makes them um, to be a, to react to the wind as well. So it just adds a little bit extra. In um, combination with the first one, you have just like more objects that are affected by the wind. So that's pretty cool. And it works with most other mods and um, you should check out the description if you are unsure but um, here you also have the information that it's compatible with static mesh improvement for example which a lot of people use, me included. So the third mod you can use is uh, footprints and as you might, uh, might have seen in the last clip in Dawnstar where, um, where you can just see the footprints of the guards and the footprints of yourself as well so that's pretty cool and also animal footprints are tracked. And um, that's pretty easy to install as well, but be sure that it uses scripts so you can't really uninstall it after you have installed it. But um, I mean, there's no need to, and you can if you want deactivate it, but you can't really uninstall it anymore. So, yeah, be a little bit careful with that one. But um, I've used it for my whole playthrough in VR, and I have no, I have had no issues at all. But I've read on uh, the Reddit that many, or not many, but some people may may have is issues with that mod so be warned but I've used it for like 20 hours plus and I have no, I've, I've had no issues with it so um, yeah I find it really cool and um, I like the footprints especially in VR it just it's so more so much more immersive. One thing I actually forgot to tell you is that you can tweak the intensity of the Skyrim is windy um, mod and to do that you can go into your Skyrim directory, Skyrim VR directory. So it's normally under Steam, Steam apps common and then Skyrim VR. And there you go into the data folder and you scroll down until you find the um, Skyrim is Windy config file. Here it is, Skyrim is Windy INI. So you do that of course after you have installed the mod obviously. Then you uh, edit the file. I recommend Notepad++ but you can also just uh, use your Windows Notepad and or your uh, editor of choice. And there's just one line which is the uh, wind grass multiplier. I've set it to 2.0 or 
And I think the default is like 4 or 5.0, but I'm not sure anymore. But um, I like 2.0 way more because the default setting is way too intense in my opinion. And it's just like that the, um, it feels like there's a big storm outside or something, I don't know. But this one just is, um, makes it much more subtle, so the effect is much uh, less noticeable, but um, that's what I like about it. So if you want uh, to make it look like in my showcase, you can uh, use this setting to 2.0, but you can also change it to whatever you want. And um, that's just uh, to change the intensity. So you can also, of course, set it higher than the default if you want to make it more obvious. That's just uh, one thing I want to show you.